told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until hi youtubers welcome to my video and today i'm going to show you how to change a wing on ford fiesta this is mk6 in uk but also it is known mk7 in us so don't be confused when you are looking for part and then you say something like mk7 or mk6 they are gonna fit so this is 2011 but uh, you can fit parts from 2007 to 2016 i, I believe yeah this is the only video as well you will see comprehensive guide on how to change the wing so stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe what tools you need i will put in description however you just need two two tools one is a screwdriver and a number 10 spanner so we are going to start by removing the light we have two screws so one it's here and the other one it's at the top there as you have seen so that's gonna be like a flatbed screwdriver uh, I have started by this small one because uh, it was really really tight and then now I can use my uh, uh, electric screwdriver to remove both of them so one is gone and this is the second one so the second step is to remove this clip before removing the lights you need to be a little bit careful but uh, it's easier it comes out very easy so just take it out and uh, move to the next step so now we are going to remove this connection which connect the headlight now you're gonna need a screwdriver again and uh, insert the screwdriver there and pull it out it's very easy to get it out right so next step is just to take out the headlight uh, you need to jiggle a little bit and uh, just take it out okay so now you can see we have got access inside here to remove these bolts there are four total together there are four total bolts and uh, one on tops here on the top sorry uh, I'm gonna show you uh, I'm going to use now number 10 so you can see th these are the four as you can see one two three four there I'm gonna use number 10 you can use uh, there's not much room uh, it I mean anything you can use which you fi feel like it's gonna it's gonna remove much more quicker just use it but uh, I've used this pan number 10 and then it was much uh, easier for me to to remove it by hand so one two three four so there's two more bolts here so we need to remove them and uh, then we will be able to pull it out right so we've removed that and you can see now this the front one has come out and we have got access to this one now with this one I'm gonna use this and remove that so this side we okay and we are gonna go on top this side now this is number 10 or number 11 will work now we are going under here again as you can see we need to remove that as well so gonna use the same all right gonna use the small one now number 10 all right so that's done and see my set to come loose. Okay. 
so on top here there is a screw which is inside is very difficult to get it but nothing to worry because uh, if you can pull this uh, wing it will go out so let's go and remove this one to remove this one you need to go underneath the car you don't need to remove the wheel so you can see here there's a screw there it's also number 10 you can use spanner number 10 or you can use the similar things what I'm using there to remove it so now we have got a little bit of access there it's gonna take few minutes but uh, uh, it's okay it's because these screws are not very very difficult to to remove them and here there are two screws after that just go on and uh, remove you can it. see now we have removed it and it's only up here So as you can see now the wing is removed and we are going to put the new one. And this is gonna be the new one which is gonna go all the way here. So uh, we have changed the wings and that's our car now everything is okay and it fits perfect so now it's just to put back all the screw screws you which you have removed uh, you can uh, just watch the video again and see where you have removed uh, the screws so all the way from down and all the other side and that's it so hopefully guys this video helped you and if it has helped you or you find it uh, very useful, please don't forget to subscribe and like it and share. So, uh, till next time and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.